Hey guys and welcome back to another Build My Life video. In the last episode we talked about my life is starting out on YouTube. You know, the beginning of it all. Anyways, my YouTube journey nonetheless. We're working a little backwards with this story, so today we're gonna get into the beautiful life of high school. Fun for some, horrible for others. Here's my story. I guess, I guess we gotta stop the story before we start it because I didn't really have a life in high school. My parental situation was a bit messy to say the least. We moved around a lot and I did not have a structured routine in my home life. So school was an afterthought, but something that had to happen nonetheless. I definitely made the most of what I was given. Freshman year was pretty solid. Starting out riding the bus to school each morning, uh, it didn't last long. Here's a funny story. The bus driver basically told everyone, hey, no skateboards on the bus. Me and my brother really liked to take our skateboards to school though so we could skate after school, maybe skate home, go to a friend's house, etc. Anyways, we had a genius idea. We would sneak our skateboards on the bus. We had a backpack on, then we put a skateboard in the backpack and then laid another backpack on the top half of the skateboard so the bus driver wouldn't see it. We tried her luck one too many times and one day she delivered the ban. Yeah, me and my brother couldn't ride the bus anymore. After that, we just skated to school and looking back now, it gave me and my brother a reason to hang out each and every morning. It was about two miles to school down a busy, busy road, but it was very fun to skate every day to school. Unless it was snowing. That was disappointing. Anyways, as high school started to progress, kids started to fall into their cliques, their clans, you know, their friend groups and all that, and I began to fall behind in social aspects. I stood alone most times, no friends really, and I became an easy target for the old bullies guys. Yes, everyone will deal with them at least a little bit. In my sophomore year, I got into my first fight. Yes, the big mighty role builder fighting all these big kids. Anyways, here's the story. The guy asked me to see my gloves. I don't remember why. He just asked if he could hold my gloves for a second. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't see why not. And then he hit me with them. For what? I don't know why. But I, I guess I asked for it. I don't know why I handed him my gloves, but I did. He was way bigger than me, but I gave it my all. Uh, you know, the, the fight commenced, guys. He hit me with my gloves, then I hit him with my backpack, and then he picked me up and threw me onto a desk. It was, uh, it was quite, quite awesome, actually. It was the first time I flew. Anyways, both got sent to the principal's office. You guys know how that goes. I didn't exactly win the fight, but I don't know how you would judge it. Neither of us got seriously hurt. He does still have a scar on his face to this day from my, the metal on my backpack, so I'm sorry, buddy. But anyways, besides the point of fighting in high school, which, uh, I can't really recommend, it was pretty easy to be the target for some bullies. So your boy had to switch up the high school strategy, figure out who your boy was. I guess we'll get into it. With a messy home life, we transferred schools a lot. I mean, a genuine ton. I bounced back and forth constantly, sometimes moving homes twice in one day. Uh, yeah. Don't really need to get too far into it, but it sucked. It was really rocky, and I guess making friends was pretty much impossible. I became the class clown in hopes of bringing the right attention to me, but I ended up coming across as way more annoying than anything. Yeah, this resulted in a bit more bullying. Starting new schools became a good thing after a bit. It gave me the chance to meet new people again. The problem is when I would show up going back to my old school. Like I said, we would move a lot back and forth, back and forth, and uh, there'd be a ton of new schools and then i'll be like hey see you later suckers hopefully never see you again and and then i i get back there in like a week or two anyways it was it was horrible trying to keep up and you definitely can't make and keep new friends if you're only in a place for maybe a week to a month it definitely didn't work out to add to the lack of friends, my family was getting split up privately as well. My sister was reckless as a teen. I gotta be honest, sis, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> so she got kicked out of the house, all right? She was good. My brother didn't want to keep moving around with my mom and me, so he went to live with my grandparents, and that left me in the scheme of things, right? Like, it was just little old me. No more siblings, just me and my mom and my beautiful dog. I love my dog so much. But at this time, he was still my grandparents' dog until like halfway through. Anyways, it was it was pretty horrible at the time. So with all this going on, I definitely started to fall behind in school. The credits were almost impossible for the schools to keep up with. They wouldn't transfer my work from one school to the next if I was only at that school for two weeks to a month because it's just... 
not how the semesters go. Anyways, that all started to pile up onto the lack of social life, and I started to get a very big interest in gaming. Eventually, I'd go to make friends online, but before all that, I'm not exactly proud to say I was logging in three months of in-game playtime on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I could easily smoke anyone in a 1v1 at the time, okay? Like, just simple. Don't even challenge your boy on Advanced Warfare. But everything happens for a reason. A gaming addiction led to a YouTube career. I'm creating my dream game and living life. So I guess struggles help pave our way one way or another. Don't let the hardships be something that stop you from being who you want to be. And honestly, you need to let it drive you to work harder sometimes. All right, so the people who have made it towards the end of this story, guys. First off, I appreciate you. Second off, if you made it this far, Go ahead and slap a like for your boy so we can keep chasing these dreams. Anyways, here's a fun little story from high school that's not all about bullies and stuff. So I thought it'd be fun to tell you guys this. I did have a very small group of other kids that were unincluded in one of my school skies. Like, like the rejects, you know? We would all meet up and we would play hacky sack at lunch. I was a super picky eater, so I didn't eat school food anyways. There was like eight of us, and we had a fun game. If you drop the hacky sack, guys, uh, if you guys don't know what hacky sack is, it's basically like a bead or a sand filled little bag that you kick with your feet, just in case you don't know, all right? But anyways, you would kick it to each other, and if you drop it, no, you had to get pelted. So everyone got a chance to just chuck this hacky sack at your back and just, hey, don't drop it, man. Don't drop it. So that wasn't fun if you did drop it. And I have one more story as well that, uh, oh, I think her name was Miss Calhoun. If you're watching this, please, hopefully you're not teaching biology anymore. <laughs> Anyways, my biology teacher, uh, she would take her hacky sack away whenever she got the chance. That's where the story needs to meet up because uh, this biology teacher, yikes, I was sitting in her class one day, we were looking through microscopes and there was a piece of fuzz on my lens. So I tossed it off to the side harmlessly, guys. I'm looking down my microscope, grab this piece of fuzz and just kind of toss it off to the side. My teacher was next to me apparently, and she said I threw it at her and she had me taken to the principal's office. When I got there, there was already a police officer waiting for me. She was trying to get me charged with a battery for throwing a piece of fuzz apparently at her. Anyway, she was a germaphobe, so that was a stressful situation for her at the time. I just don't know why you're a science teacher if you're a germaphobe. Science is all about germs and stuff. I, I, I don't know. Miss Calhoun, I hope you're doing good in life. But anyways, that is another Build My Life episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.